I welcome you to the Mazar channel. We operate as an end time channel. We focus on the end of days. Uh, I am going to discuss uh, something that happened, I believe, on June the 5th, 2023, regarding the tender that struck a church building and the church was demolished. The church was demolished entirely. It happened in Spencer in Massachusetts. Uh, I'm aware that you have read about the news where a church was caught on fire. And I believe it happened uh, around June the 5th, 2023. And that particular church is a church that I will call an apostate church because I watched a video where the pastor of the church was talking and he said he doesn't believe that the content of the Bible, the Holy Bible, uh, was not written by God. The scriptures are very clear that the apostles, the prophets, they were inspired by God when they were putting uh, the holy book uh, into a book. The pastor of this church, the apostate church, said he doesn't believe in that. He doesn't believe in the Bible. He doesn't believe that the Bible is the true word of God. It was a church celebrating gay pride. You know, gay pride is celebrated in June every year. And it was during this time that the pastor of this apostate church made that blasphemous comment. And no long, about two days after he made those mocking blasphemous comments two days in the afternoon around about 3 p.m suddenly there was thunder lightning it struck the dome of the church and the whole church bent down i believe that this is what i would call the deployment of the sodom missile and Americans have different names for their missiles. They have the Tomahawk cruise missiles. They have submarines named after their presidents. And they even brag about the mother of all bombs. And when they have a nation that they can bully, uh, they use those bombs, those bombs as they use in Afghanistan, as they use uh, in, in Iraq. Uh, God also has his weapons, and the weapons are many. Are you talking about rain, which was used to flood the world? Or are you talking about brimstone and fire that was rain on the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? Are you talking about the use of the winds? The winds that were used to part the sea, the Red Sea? Are you talking about the sun that was scorch the unbelievers? Are you talking about bitter water? Are you talking about the drying of the sea? What weapon are you talking about? The Lord fights his battle. He doesn't believe in numbers. He doesn't believe on the use of human beings. He doesn't use guided missiles. He doesn't use satellites. 
he doesn't he doesn't use nuclear weapons the weapons do not come from the camps hidden underground the weapons come from under the throne of the most high and so on june the 5th 2023 the lord used the pseudo missiles and lightning struck the church and the church was destroyed and it's a lesson to those who intellectuals who believe in metaphysics they don't believe in anything supernatural they believe in things which they can see and touch as you're talking about the Lord using, uh, using tender and lightning to destroy an apostate church is noises to them. It's a lesson to the Freemasons who use the name of God to worship satanic idols. It's a lesson to the secular humanists it's a lesson to the atheist. What happened in Spencer, Massachusetts is a lesson to the atheist who believe that God is dead. They mockingly say God is dead. On June the 5th, 2023, they were saying the same thing. The pastor thought that God is dead, so he would say anything that who mock the holy name of the Most High. He didn't know that he who sits on my Zion, he doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. He heard it. He heard the comments that this apostate pastor made when they celebrated gay pride, when they were seated when they were sitting on the gates before the city of Sodom, the Lord heard them. The Lord saw what they did recently when they held a satanic conference in Boston, Massachusetts. The Lord saw them. And this time the Lord said, the iniquities of the Amorites are ripe. And so he responded, he rain lightning and thunder from under the throne of the Most High. And the church in Spencer, Massachusetts was burned to ashes. I'm sure they will repent. But if they don't repent, I wouldn't be surprised because the book of Revelation says that there will be people who will be tormented, but they will not repent. They will not repent of their sins, and they will continue to blaspheme the God of the heavens. I hope this time the apostate church repents. I hope this time the lesson is clear to the Sodomite, those who have taken the road of Sodom. It fulfills the scriptures because the scripture is very clear. God is slow to anger, but when he judges, he judges without any mercy at all. The lightning that struck the apostate church is a testament to the fact that the Lord will avenge the blood of the prophets, those who will be killed and those who have been killed, the Lord will avenge them. The preachers who have been harassed by people who go on parade holding LGBT flags all over 
having the protection of the courts, the police system, having the protection of the political systems controlling the world. They have the audacity to preach their blasphemous theology and doctrines and to engage children in acts that constitute a mockery of the gospel. The Lord was watching them when they met in Boston, Massachusetts, when they desecrated the Bible, when they tore the Bible into pieces, the Lord was watching them. And when the time came for Elohim to show his powers, he did not disappoint. He sent a Sodom Messiah. It was not the brimstone and fire, it was fire. But I believe that it would not be too long when the Sodom missile will be used, when the Lord will rain brimstone and fire on apostate churches as he did in the case of Sodom and Gomorrah. So I'm happy that God is not dead. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. And he said it clearly, God cannot be mocked. God cannot be mocked. And so in Spencer, Massachusetts, the Lord showed himself mightily and that is a warning to satan and his angels satan his agents those who will leave those who have their habitation in the lake of fire they have an example of how it will be when the Lord rains fire from heaven to destroy their habitation. Job has said that on the wicked, the Lord will rain brimstone and fire. And so on June the 5th, 2023, on the wicked, the wicked pastor preaching that the Bible is not the word of the Lord. The wicked pastor preaching about transgender and homosexuality. The Lord showed himself up. And this time it was a big success. Lightning, thunder, strikes, a church the church collapses and burns into ashes as a sign and wonder that will be part of the miracles that the Lord will display as the final battle ensues when the Lord brings his work to a closure when the Lord binds Satan and his angels and cast them into the lake of fire. If you are watching this video, we are observing end time events. We are observing how the Lord poured his wrath on an apostate church by raining from heaven tender to destroy an LGBT promoting church, to destroy an apostate church, to destroy a church whose pastor is blaspheming the holy name of the God of heavens. You saw it. You don't have any choice at all. 
except you repent and accept the Lord be aware that we are living in the last days and the Lord will wreak havoc on the habitation of the wicked and he will rain brimstone and fire on Sodom and the churches of Sodom as he did in the case of Spencer, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching this video. I'm leaving the links of the video in the description box. I urge you to subscribe to this channel, help spread the message, and share the video. My email is raptureafrica.yahoo.com, one word. Thank you for watching this video.